Get your school holiday football fixed these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au. It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia, with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location. Strength for Life is a individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life. Um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures.
Hello and welcome to round three of the Go Sunny Solar WNPL South Australia here at Service FM Stadium between the two sides of Salisbury Inter and Adelaide City. As we see both sides and both captains exchange handshakes, we'll go through the starting lineups for this one. Starting with the home side for tonight, Salisbury Inter in goal, number one, Matilda Comley. Number five, Isabella Quimsis. Number 10, Jessica Signoriello. Number 11, Nicola Frazetto. Number 12, Chantel Ryder. Number 13, Angelique Brogdenberg. Number 18, Jasmine Stiles. Number 23, Mina Nishitani. Number 24, Hannah Freer. Number 26, Nurian Ruri Nagashima. And number 35, Selena Cravo with head coach Carl Maynard. To the away side of Adelaide City, starting in goal once again with number one, Abby Lucas. Number five, Alice McCauley. Number six, Nora Pete. Number seven, Valeria Goyardo. Number eight, Alana Ursino. Number nine, Piri Weeks. Number 10, Ali Atkins. Number 13, Sophie Lezinski. Number 14, Chrissy Zikos. Number 15, the captain, Bianca Gray. And number 19, Daphne McLeod with head coach, Tian Powell. Both sides in their huddle now as we await kickoff for this 6.15 p.m. Twilight match between two sides with varying starts to their WNPL seasons. Salisbury Inter without a win in their first two. Adelaide City undefeated with a draw and a win last week. Sorry, not last week, but the week before due to the cup round against Sturt Lions. Referee today in the middle is Lee Pryor with assistant referees Zach Britton and Indiana Van Diesen. All set for kickoff here. And underway here at Jets Cross. You see the ball already. going out for the goal kick to be taken by Abby Lucas. Adelaide City will play out the back for this one. McLeod coming to the pass of Jasmine Stiles. Salisbury into will really be wanting to get off the mark tonight. Having only scored the two goals as well, and that was last round against Adelaide Comets through Selena Cravo and Mina Nishitani. McCauley, great. Poor pass, gives it away to Salisbury in Styles. I think looking for Nagashima up front. Ball unable to be worked out properly. Adelaide City's throw. Slowly just trying to work their way forward. Pass for Bianca Gray. That sun could be a problem for at least the first half of this match, just shining over the main grandstand here at Surface FM Stadium. To be honest, makes it a bit hard for me to see the game as well. Adelaide City will have their throw. Going to hear the 
instructions of Salisbury and coach Carl Maynard. Bringing it forward to his team on the far touch line. Adelaide City working their way forward through Boyardo. Intercepted by Hannah Freer. Bianca Gray will take this throw for Adelaide City. Already needing another ball just over, just under, sorry, four minutes in. well enough by Pete. Cravo looking to turn. Yeah, yeah, possession. Adelaide City will get away with the throw once again. Go all the way back with Alice McCauley and now Abby Lucas. Into this ball now. Nagashima looking to play the ball out wide. Intercepted, but still able to get the throw out of this. Nishitani. Can't keep the ball in and will go out for the goal kick. again. Making her way through nicely is Guiardo and the through ball is on for Adelaide City and McLeo just wide and Matilda Comley will be happy to see that one go. First opportunity for either side in this one. Atkins to touchdown. McCauley. Nagashima of Salisbury into just trying to apply that pressure, and in the end, it comes off Isabella Quimsis for the throw. Lucas to restart play for her side. Had a clean sheet last round against Sturt Line. We'll be wanting to repeat that feat. But Salisbury are also more than wanting a goal to really get their season started. The grand final winners from last year, Coimsis. Wins the corner for Salisbury Inter. Good set piece for Inter. As 
always their ever dependable Mina Nishitani to take the set pieces and the corners. Let's see how she puts this, this one in. Ball comes in. Into the center. Headed over the bar. Another corner. Jatani to take from the opposite side now. We'll be on the left foot. Curling in. Still in the box for Insa. Bravo having the effort only deflects wide to Nishitani. Takes it past one. Put the ball in on the left foot. Into the side netting and out for a goal kick. Unfortunate for Salisbury into that, but a good effort and start to their attacking. goal last round against Sturt Lions in their 4 0 win. Quite a few great goals in that one, to be fair. Uh, Adelaide City Park, just up the road from here. Where the Adelaide City men's team will be hosting Campbelltown in the men's MPL tonight as well. Abby Lucas for Ali Atkins, but they managed to get out of it. And in fact, get forward. Only to Insa, Nishitani. Out wide for Kouinsis. Ball just outpacing her that little bit. Nishitani maneuvering herself well through the Adelaide City pack. Turning, but yet to put a ball in. Winning the corner though is Nishitani. Ball comes in, the header. Lead away by Lana Ursino in the end for City, but Inter having a great opportunity there get the first one of the night.
works of local football. Do the handball there and the Adelaide City free kick to come. Free kick here to be taken by Alice McCauley on the left foot. over the top, a goal kick. Conley did come out and attempt a punch, but wasn't needed in the end. Sides having some half decent chances. Neither really showing themselves to be the more dominant side in this first picture of a double header here tonight at Service FM Stadium. Of course, right after this is Flinders United versus Adelaide Comets. An intriguing game that one will be. Tani putting the ball forward for Cravo against McCauley. Slight slip in miscommunication there from the Adelaide City back line, meaning Salisbury to have the throw. comes in, easily caught. Styles getting in the way of that, but City still able to maneuver the ball forward. Running down the line is Nucleo. Gets away with it still. Puts the ball into the center. Still trying to get through weeks. Into making a bit of a mess of it at the moment. Still not out of the woods yet. Atkins. Oh, they said he decided to restart. I'm sure they want to get back attacking quickly as they do now. Great. Cleo still with it. Chantel Ryder coming in. The captain from the back. Just making sure she's able to deal with it cleanly and well, and she does so. Lucas. Macaulay. 
Captain Gray. Asino. Foul there. On Asino for the Adelaide City free kick. Which they'll pretty much just restart play. Adelaide City opportunity now. Ball put in. Offside, however, not sure if it was McLeod or Weeks. But either way, offside. Shima, touch forward. Lena Cravo just putting the pressure on Abby Lucas. Great. Richard Tani just trying to get in the way of Ali Atkins to try and disrupt her. Cleardo to receive it back. Adelaide City passing well at the moment. Unfortunate to have the ball go out there. on the far side. That one not working out too well for City. Atkins. About five Salisbury into players just in that one square, and so City get away with it. Into throw. Just falling on the ball there was Sydney Riello. Adelaide City disagreeing with the decision there, but Inter still with the throw. Tani to Cravo, couldn't obtain the ball herself. Was looking for McLeod, but perhaps Wiato was the better option right down the middle. Riello. Poor pass. Great. Handball by McLeod. Styles. Cravo.
just over a quarter of the way through the 90 minutes for this one. Still no goals, but both sides only a few efforts apiece. Other than that, nothing too wild for this one so far, but still plenty of time for magic to happen. Cineriello against Gray. Chantel Ryder. Good touches there by Cineriello. Two meetings last season between these two sides went 1-0 either way. Salisbury Inter in their home leg, courtesy of Roxy, Dog, Roxy Dodd in the last minute due to a penalty. And then Kate Seaton getting on the short score sheet at Adelaide City Park in the 62nd minute. Then the year before that it was the double done by Adelaide City. Goals in the round 16 match there from Valeria Guiardo, two there, and then the one from Hazelwood for Salisbury Inter at that time. Then in round seven back then, Isabel Hodgson getting a double for Adelaide City that day, and Cote Rojas getting just the one for Inter. So fixtures between these two sides don't tend to ser serve up too many goals but still wanting more than one tonight I'd imagine from both Adelaide City with this corner Set piece opportunity here. Ball comes in. Headed goalwards, but not enough on it to trouble Matilda Comley in any way. Nishitani. Looking from range, only hits the backboarding. Had a few goals like that last week between Inter and Comets. I think last week, should say last round, of course, had the cup round most recently today. Well, cup draw today and cup round last week. With mainly just the WSL side, so most of the WNPL teams having a break, although I did see Comets and NTC play a friendly match. Got that cup draw today, Inter facing Flinders United in their first matchup of the cup in Adelaide City, plays it, playing the winner of Mobry Vista and Campbelltown City, whenever that is due to be played. Falcon from Atkins there into the face of Guiardo. I think she's all right. <laughs> Offside.
Down by Cravo, Ursino. Atkins, right out of Styles. Gray with it now. McLeod on the wing, looking forward to Pete. Cravo, good ball to Styles. Only has Nagashima next to her. And in that loses the ball. Inter looking for a second opportunity. Nagashima intercepted once again. McLeod is on here. One on one with Comley. Great work there from Hannah Freer. Just had herself right next to her to put her off other than that normally almost certain you see a player putting those ones back in the net Corner in, in swinging. Comley gets rid of for now. Jasmine Styles chasing after to make sure Adelaide City can't have another bite. Nagashima. Adelaide City throw. Looking for Perry Weeks there, but perhaps just not on the same same page that time around. Good turn by McLeo. Having to chase down this one is Guiardo, but Ryder up to the task to beat her there. Gets the throw for City. This game very much still in the balance for both of these sides. Ishitani. Nagashima having to chase. Unable to beat Sophie Lezinski. Gray with it. Foul there. Free kick for Adelaide City. That sun slowly starting to set behind the grandstand. Meaning a better viewing experience for all of us, I think. Not sure. The reserves games on the back pitches, though, be thankful for it yet.
all the way back with Lucas. Just applying the pressure. Clear. Into throw. Just discussions occurring with the referee about whether or not that should have been a throw for Inter or a free kick. Ryder coming in. Freer. We'll have to battle in for Inter. Ball comes into the centre. Having the shot. Lovely goal from Valeria Guiardo. The cutback working out perfectly. And in turn, meaning Adelaide City get the first goal. 1 0. Probably could not have hit it better if she tried. Guiardo. <laughs> Ten minutes till half time. Adelaide City needing something like that. But Inter once again on the back foot for another match. Inter, as we already spoke about, that 1-0 loss in the first round to their grand final opponents, NTC 1-0, and then a 6-2 loss to Adelaide Comets in round two. Where they did score first in that one, but were just outclassed in the end by Comets. I must say, what a well-worked well goal there from Adelaide City. Into, though. We'll try and get one back. I'm sure they'll want more, but one is all they need for the time being. This game, after that goal... Now players just slowly coming out of their shell. Showing what they can do into now needing to really fight to get the three points once again. Well, they won't want another. In all fairness to Salisbury, so they have had a tough run in these first three fixtures. NTC who they played the grand final against. Adelaide Comets, who won the league last season. And Adelaide City, who looked to be a very strong team once again this season. The next couple of games are perhaps a bit more kinder to them. Play against Adelaide Uni, Sturt Lions and West Torrens Burkala. Teams that Salisbury until will be wanting and thinking they can probably beat in 90 minutes. Cooley. Styles. Nishitani. Looking to put the ball through for Nagashima, but not working out.
Comley. Freer. Thinks twice about going forward and instead heading back to her brick wall at the back in goals. Lovely ball for Jasmine Styles, having the battle against Sophie Lezinski. Styles. Jasmine Styles trying to win the penalty, but referee not seeing enough in it, and I think I tend to agree to be fair. Styles. Free. Cravo attempting the effort from range, but Perhaps a bit more out of want rather than need to. Great night for football here in Jeps Cross. Plenty of games happening around the grounds as well. Across the women's and men's leagues. Deflection there. Jasta able to not let the ball go out. Into throw. Frizzetto. Nishitani on the wing. Against Atkins. Wins the corner once again for Inter. And there's been the big opportunities from these set pieces so far, Salisbury Inter. Nishitani is always on the free kicks. Ball comes in. Styles pokes it towards goal, but again, nothing really too much in it to trouble Adelaide City. Inter would love to get one before half time. Perhaps help Carl Maynard and his team talk as well at half time. Two minutes until that break, not including additional time. As it stands, Adelaide City going in 1-0. Unless Inter have something to say about it. Or Adelaide City themselves get another. Just to push themselves that little bit more. Nagashima. Got a bit stuck there. 
four Adelaide City players around her. Chantel Ryder getting in the way of that ball. Bravo. Kuimsis has Ruri Nagashima in the middle, getting options in now. Ball just couldn't get there to the likes of Nishitani and Kravo. Guiado, the goal scorer, the lone goal scorer for this one. Chantal Ryder, ever dependable and getting that ball back for Inter. A chop clearance there from Abby Lucas. Into additional time here at Service FM Stadium. Pete just on the ground now. And with that, referee Lee Pryor calls it into the first half. 1 0, courtesy of Valeria Guiardo. And Inter having once again to fight back to get the three points in this one. We go to half time. The way of Adelaide City score is Salisbury and Tenille, Adelaide City one. School Holiday Football Fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location.
Strength for Life is a individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life. Um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures. Welcome to Adelaide City Park for round four of the men's REA MPL South Australia. Tonight here between FK Beograd and Adelaide City. The refereeing staff, Lean Miller, Dion Turner and Paula Orlandi. I'm your commentator, Seb O'Neill, joined by... David Grant. David, lovely to see you again for another week. It will be Craig Shearer to get us underway, fresh off that hat-trick in the Australia Cup. Had that game against Parry Hills East, the amateur side, where he came into the starting 11. And trying to put the ball into the centre. Craig Shearer on the edge of the box. And I'll tell you what, he has a strike on him. Good ball for Bucco. Still working out for Beergrad. Just slowly building, yep. That looks a lot more dangerous than it actually was, I think. <laughs> it looked like it was curling to the top corner. Ball coming in. Perfect spot, it's bad luck. Laurie Latanzio at the back, I think. Piece of a caught, makes his way off here in front of us. Obviously an injury. Good stop by Erickson Hammond. He's held it as well, didn't just palm it aside, so that's a confident goalkeeping, isn't it? Delivered low, cleared away. Yeah, I think it's Anthony Trimpoli that's cleared that way for FK Beograd, but um, <laughs> nice piece of work by Nick Buko down the left to get that cross in, building up on the left hand side into the penalty box. Goal might come. Deep, but nothing heated as the ball over the top for Adelaide City. Touched on, could this be the one? Yes! 
frustrating. FKB grad Ivanic in the centre. Could this be the winner? Oh, what a brilliant stop. save! Oh, what a stop by Oxenham! What a save! Everybody hit the ball with the outside of your foot. See what happens. Oh, Opportunity here. It. He's onside. Just has to finish, and he does so. Is that the winner coming from Jason Constantopoulos against his former side? <laughs> Honey, 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 money, money. Can't believe it. It's Fergus Lynch Fergus with this Lynch, one. Yeah. Then Battistella. Brisson! Oh, what a stop! Kavanagh makes some ends for his earlier slices, and he's. What a stop! He's kept it. Oh. I think Kavanagh had that covered. We have had a goal, we have had a few injuries, haven't we? But. Um, it's yours now. Full time at Adelaide City Park. 1 0 the way of FKP. Got a hard fought game and a hard fought win for the away side. It's April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all, filled with skills, games, and fun from accredited coaches with options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au And the future is orange for Stratford. Flinders are in the lead. Rachel Quigley. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Comment to 20, 23 premiers. Saved by Pomeroy. They had to go the distance and then some. Well, a late Lily Barber goal meant that NTC got the better of Salisbury into in the round one rematch of last year's grand finalists. The teams, first for NTC, Mary Dalpiaz in goal. The back four is Nicola Krantis, Anastasia Simic, Hayley Wellington and Annalise Simpson. And Anastasia Willoughby for Flinders United. That's well taken, Wellington. Straight at Molino. Oh, Bayford's gone in. Oh, dear. It's a goal for Grayson Blischke. Just the absolute last type of goal you'd want to concede. Sorry, it was uh, Nicholas. Now here's Hudson Turner. Oh. Molino had to have a couple of goes at that. Hudson Turner. That's good. Barber! A bit further out than Hudson Turner to Simic. Simic goes for goal. Whew. Molino had to parry in the end. Now, can Denton get onto this? Sarah Denton takes the shot and scores the goal! Sarah Denton equalises for Flinders United! What a fantastic strike! And what a way to bring your team level! She might fancy a shot from there. No, she plays it down. Now, opportunity for Vega. Another opportunity to get the ball in, though. Over the bar. Goal kick. Will it be taken? It's a good delivery. Barber! Great save, Molino go and it's now with Cardell Wellington was in the way Denton and a chance oh terrific save from Dalpiaz that was a pretty good hit from Bethany Bill Pointing in different directions it's over Dalpiaz and it's been headed in Flinders United are in the lead 
But it's 2 1 here. Simic hits the bar. Bayford gets it away. Bayford again in the way. It's full time. Flinders United get an epic win here at Fl- Service FM Stadium. They've come from behind to beat NTC by two goals to one. What a tremendous performance. Get your school holiday football fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au Welcome back to the second half for round three of the Go Sunny Solar WNPL South Australia. At the halftime break, it was 1-0 Adelaide City versus Salisbury Inter. And as we enter the second half, Salisbury Inter wanting and needing to climb back. After suffering two defeats in their first two games of the season, they won't want to do another. 
So at least a point absolutely vital here for their season. Ball going forward through Inter. Adelaide City, though. Fort.
Insert with the ball around the back. Styles. Apologies for any interruptions you might have had. We should be back now. Haven't missed anything, no goals. Thankfully for your sake. But both these sides will be wanting goals at any point from now, I think. Abby Lucas. So help just restart play for Adelaide City. Of course, have, having games kicking off around the grounds as well now in the WNPL. Sturt have their game tonight against Adelaide Uni in the WMPO and a few men's MPL games at South Adelaide, Adelaide City, Metro. And of course, just the one game after this at Jeps Cross between Flinders United and Adelaide Comets for your Friday night football. And of course, plenty more action on tomorrow as well across all the leagues, men's and women's. And they're underway over at Sturt. They're scheduled for a 7.30 kickoff, so just on time. Insa, with this opportunity, has only one option in the middle of Kuimsis. She's pretty much at the penalty spot now. Unfamiliar for her normally being in the role of fullback. Inter will very happily take this corner. In swing. It's high. Headed away for now. Inter still wanting to get a proper shot off. Styles had a possible penalty waved off earlier in the first half. Inter will take this corner, courtesy of once again Mina Nishitani. Ball comes in at the back post, Kuimsis. Adelaide City goal kick. Ali Atkins. Pete. We are trying to turn. Lovely night for football here at Jeps Cross, as it always is for WMPL nights like this one.
football being played on pretty much every single pitch tonight. Salisbury Inter with the ball in. Nishitani is there. Intercepted for now. Piri Weeks will just sneak in behind for Adelaide City. Flicked up. Ryder. Clearing. Nagashima, I think, wanting it there. Throw it on the far side for Salisbury and all their substitutes warming up on the far left hand side from our angle. Pete putting the ball through. Lovely ball. Comley has to come out and clear. As Salisbury Inter. Ready a substitute. In the 60th minute. Be Selena Cravo coming off. And Aaron Hood coming on for Salisbury and so making her return after having time spent with West Adelaide. Back at the club where she first started playing WMPL football. And She'll definitely be wanting to make an impact. Adelaide City yet to make any substitutions as of yet. Happy with the way things are going and why wouldn't you be 1-0 up? Although I'm sure Tian Pao would love another goal and the rest of her City team. And it looks like City will be replying with their own double substitute. Be Chrissy Zekos to come off as one of those substitutes. Being replaced by Gabriela DeMarco. She's onside here, but ball just falling in favour of Abby Lucas. <laughs> Ali Atkins. Right up. Nishitani. Ball 
Ball forward. Ball comes in. Looking for Aaron Hood. One of her first touches of the ball. It could have been it could have been a goal, but falls kindly to her. Having the shot only into the side netting. I just heard confirmation of that substitute for Adelaide City. Free kick. <laughs> Nagashima trying to get the touch in, but a bit just too wide for her into throw again. Quim's just to take. Pete. Lovely bit of play from Adelaide City. Looks like they'll go all the way back to Comley. Will Hannah free it? Comley. Poor ball has given it straight back to Adelaide City to have the strike. Brilliant goal. Adelaide City go 2-0 up. And what a wait. And what a goal. And it was the woman who made such an impact in the first half down the left wing. Daphne McLeod. Had some great opportunities for in that first half and it finally paying off in the second to get Adelaide City up 2-0. Not what Salisbury Inter would have wanted. A poor giveaway from Matilda Comley leading to that one and now Inter having an even bigger mountain to climb. Nagashima, though, wanting to create something for Salisbury. Puts the ball in. City deal with. Guiardo, the initial goal scorer for this match. Ursino unable to pull that one off, unfortunately, for herself and her team. DeMarco. Substitute looking for weeks. Styles intercepting. Won the penalty in that first matchup between these two last year in round two, leading to their 1 0 win early on last season against City. So knows how to play a part in this fixture. Oh, 
offside. Yeah, easily spotted. Nothing too difficult for Zach Britton to adjudicate. And a score update, Sturt Lions 15 minutes in. Nina Yamada getting Sturt 1-0 up against Adelaide Uni. For what is their first goal ever in the WMPL from one of their Japanese imports. So 1-0 to Sturt against Adelaide University. A great start for them in the orange. Ball over the top. Be able to see both Flinders and Adelaide Comets doing their warm-ups on the five-side pitches here at Service FM Stadium. That fixture did played right after this one at 8.15 Adelaide time. That's about exactly half an hour from now. Of course, still got 20 minutes to go on this one, not including additional time. Kuimsis intercepted by DeMarco. Piri Weeks, sorry, Nora Pete. Looking for the flick on header. Weeks. Atkins. Aaron Hood just trying to apply the pressure and chase on. Looks like Inter might be readying a sub sometime soon. Styles. Ball comes in. Nagashima. Flicked on for Nishitani. Still in the air. Headed away by City. <laughs> DeMarco unable to get the touch. Giving away the throw to Salisbury Inter. And here's that substitute for the home side. Angelique Freudenberg, two come off. And to come on will be Nicola Scalzi for this final. Just under 20 minutes. Good ball, working out. Doesn't have too many options in the centre. Well caught and captured by Lucas. Poor giveaway, Nishitani. And they're giving away again. Atkins. Ball over the top once again. Evading great. 
Shouts of handball, mainly by the Salisbury Inter contingent. Hood puts the ball in. Turns. Dealt again by City. Well done. Foot race here. Touched on. Starts to chase after it. Does Nicola Frazetto. Wins the throw still. Back with Lucas. Unfortunate deflection for Adelaide City, but Inter will love it. Nagashima. Just trying to make her way past. Free kick. Ball comes in. Might find herself out of position there. Weeks. Adelaide City not happy with that, but Inter will get away with it through commits Kuimsis. Nagashima's offside. with Abby Lucas. Final 15 minutes. Insa at the moment looking unlikely to get off the board with a point in their first three rounds this season. They might already have to look forward to playing against Adelaide Uni next weekend. especially if Adelaide City can get another here. McLeod. Well done by Chantel Ryder to just stop that opportunity for the time being. corner for City. In swinging. Headed away. Asino. Getting through. DeMarco. Over the top, looking for Hood.
Only upwards. Which Inter will like and they'll like having the throw to. Only into the hands of Abby Lucas. Asino. Lezinski. Falling on the ball there, unfortunately. Kuimsis. Hood. Still battling for it. Kuimsis just putting the ball in there. But a bit too messy for anything to really come to. Ball coming in, headed away. Weeks just playing it back to her defence. Ishitani couldn't go. Ryder. Ball delivered in. Might fall. Shouts of a handball. They'll get the corner, but a golden opportunity for Salisbury into there. Nishitani on the corner. In swinging back post. No one could get their head to it. Kuimsis with the ball in. Inter. Having a few more efforts really late on now. Kuimps is having a chase. Wins the ball. In to win the free kick. In a position where they might just as well set up like a corner. Headed goalwards, only behind. Under 10 minutes, almost five. Hints are really desperate now. Headed away for now. Kuimps is chasing. 
making her way out to the wing. Waiting to put a ball in now on the left foot. City now. Win back by Insa. Hood's there. Just couldn't get the strike on target. It's just their luck today, Salisbury Insa. Can't seem to get anything out of this match. Piri Weeks making way. As well as Alana Ursino for Adelaide City. Lucas, only to her opposing teammate. Kept in by Seaton, who scored in the last match between these two, was the lone goal scorer at Adelaide City Park in round 11 in 2023. Perhaps still wanting to repeat the feat. Will that be a corner or a throw or a throw in? Probably would have rather the goal kick, sorry. Confirmation of those substitutes, Kate Seaton. And Brooke Gilchrist coming on for Adelaide City for these closing stages in what seems to be three points for Adelaide City now. And two great goals to really help seal the deal. Atkins. Perhaps a little bit just too much. A little bit too much weight on the ball. Quimsis. Frizzetto. Free. Nagashima. Couldn't get the touch correct. Ford with Seaton offside. Just couldn't hold her on just enough. Just to remind you around the grounds, 1 0 to Sturt Lions against Adelaide Uni in the WNPL as well. And the one other game for tonight, right after this one between Flinders United and Adelaide Comets. All being brought to you here on the FSA League's YouTube channel, so make sure to stick with us right after this one. For Flinders versus Comets. Flinders coming off a big win against NTC last week, and Comets at the moment undefeated with two wins on the trot and ten goals between the two. Four in the first and six goals in the second. And you'd think Flinders could possibly cause the upset in that one. Shouts of a foul from Salisbury into bench, but perhaps a bit more out of hope than anything else.
into the 90th minute now. Into with it. Into additional time here at Service FM Stadium as the substitute to be made. The Ruri Nagashima to come off. Inter perhaps can only find the consolation goal in his closing moments. Unless City playing back. Confirmation of that substitute there. Zoe Jackson coming on for Salisbury Inter. In which it will be another three points gained for Adelaide City and three points lost for Salisbury Inter, unfortunately for them. Not the start of the season they would have liked. But Adelaide City on the alternative side, looking like a team to beat. Might let's get one more here. From the corner. Delivered in. Bouncing in the box. Only on the edge. The strike. Over the bar, but looking promising. All bouncing about. Free kick for Inter. Playing it short down the wing. They'll get a corner. Nishitani will take. Into the box. Kuimsis headers downwards. Back with Comley. Can't be too much time left. Into almost the fifth minute of additional time. City just winding down the clock now.
And there is that full-time whistle that Adelaide City were wanting to hear. Two new winners on the night, courtesy of Valeria Guiardo. With the first. And then Daphne McLeod finishing for the second. But full time here at Service FM Stadium. 2 0 the way of Adelaide City. Stay with us for Flinders United versus Adelaide Comets. But until then, enjoy your football and have a nice night.